If you're building a bubble app that uses OpenAI, then this video is for you because OpenAI have just announced a shed load of exciting new features and I'm going to just break them down and explain how I think that they are going to be amazing for building AI apps with Bubble going forward. Uh, the date is the 6th of November, this is hot off the press uh, and uh, we're going to jump right in with the GPT models. These are of course how you can generate text uh, within your application using AI and first off we've got the fact that uh, GPT-4 is now available in Turbo and the amount of text that you can send with your API calls has just gone through the roof 128k the example they give there is that's the equivalent of 300 pages of text in a single prompt and not only that but it is also cheaper now as well the thing that we have to though consider as bubble developers is that if you're using the bubble api connector there's still going to be that frustration with very long large responses potentially timing out so i'm really hopeful that bubble's going to fix that at some point give us much more freedom over uh, how long a api call takes to time out um what else do we have here functions i mean that was that was already there um ah json mode uh so this is very exciting and i think json mode combined with um reproducible outputs uh this new seed parameter is going to take a lot of the trial and error out of trying to get that um, reliable and consistent formatting back. Uh, I work with a lot of bubble coaching clients and part of crafting that perfect prompt is so that you get back your response from OpenAI in that um, replicable and reliable structure uh, in order for you to be able to pass, split, separate the data into your bubble app. Well I think that has become a whole lot easier with JSON mode and reproducible outputs. Uh, the consistency is going to be so much easier and I'll be recording some videos on those uh, in the coming days. Uh, upgrades to GPT 3.5 Turbo, still the best offering out there for anyone who wants it cheap uh, and who wants it quick. Uh, and so we've seen a number of improvements across that. Uh, the Assistant API, I need to dig into this a bit more, but this may be an appropriate way uh, to handle uh, many of the applications that I've seen people working with in Bubble that are bringing in OpenAI. Um, so I think it's well worth digging into to see whether it is appropriate to apply it to your Bubble app. Basically what I'm taking away from this whole uh, presentation, this whole press release, is that anyone who has used Bubble uh, to build uh, an OpenAI application or one powered by OpenAI, they can improve their Bubble app using many of the new features that are released uh, today or releasing in the near future. Um, We've got uh, GPT-4 Turbo with Vision. Again, I'm going to be digging into the API documentation for that, seeing how easy or if possible it is to uh, combine that. That would be like submitting an image of a puzzle or how what's going on in this image to OpenAI through Bubble and getting a uh, really accurate response. At least that's what we've been seeing uh, or I've been seeing on posts on Reddit. Uh, Dory 3, again, we've been getting sneak previews of this depending on uh, where you are with your OpenAI account. And uh, we we're getting some fantastic um, image generation there. Uh, you know, I think finally we're drawing parallel with the likes of Mid Journey. But leave a comment below if you disagree. Um, oh yes, text to speech. I was only saying to a family member, uh, in fact, in the last week, that uh, we're now at a stage where text generation by AI uh, can be superior than nine out of ten people in the room. That image generation by AI is getting close to like indiscernible photo realistic undetectable photorealistic um, but what is missing uh, in like the whole human mode of communication and understanding the world is the ability to take text and turn it into into speech and for that to be convincing as a human and I think that OpenAI have got very close particularly uh, the Onyx um, voice here which I'm gonna play uh, just to see if we get it And that is just a fraction below what I would expect to hear on an audible audiobook preview. It's so close. 
In fact, maybe if you were to play that over the phone with all the compression that goes into it, it would be undetectable as AI. Um, what else do we have? We've got uh, lower prices. Everyone loves lower prices, higher rates, uh, and then a uh, an improvement uh, to Whisper. If you have built OpenAI into your bubble app, then there is a good chance that you can save money and make improvements based on the features released today. And we will be recording videos on what we think are the most important. I think that the JSON mode in particular uh, is going to be very high on our list. We will be releasing those videos in the next few days. So make sure that you like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And if you've got any comments or any thoughts on anything I've shared, or anything released by OpenAI, then please leave a comment. Uh, we love reading them all.